Hi and welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Hang around, we'll, we'll make a knife or two. Uh, maybe not so much today, but once you get a knife cut out, that's that's only 10% of the work. The other 90 comes later. Yeah, or the other 120% of the knife build comes a little later. And so I'm going to answer a question. I keep getting it every once in a while. It'll pop up. Somebody will ask me. You'll see it on YouTube or, or on uh, Facebook or at flea markets and wherever else they recognize me from. Why dog bone? Okay. I like to use bone as handle material. Antler being the easiest to get other than, you know, you have to go through a bunch of that or get, to get other bones. You can buy other bones, yes. You can find shed antlers and take them and use them. Matter of fact, dog bone is from the chew toys that you buy. The, the bones, the antlers, pieces that you buy for your dogs to keep them chewing on everything else. So, anyway, I had a dog come in with a with a deer antler and I took it away from it and I made a knife handle out of it and I've been doing it ever since so hopefully that ends that I mean I'll still probably be asked a million times but and no I didn't take a, a bone out of a dog to make it one with so and like right here on the table my little bench right here is 29 examples of bone handles and they're going to be a bunch more because I have a bunch of bone a bunch of antlers and about everything that I do not 100% but about everything that I do I try to put bone as a handle if I've got it if not then I'll use something else and I've got plenty of wood over there that I've got to cast in resin uh, and do all this I'm just out of resin right now so or I'd be casting that I'm kind of finally clear of the COVID I'm still drugged down from it but other than that uh, seem to be doing a lot better the antibiotics helped clear my lungs up so I can talk now uh, I know should have kept COVID I guess Okay, right here they are on the table. Let me get behind the camera and then I will zoom it up and see what's going on and get that. Okay, got a nasty table. Alright. As you can see, some of them's neck knives, some of them's little uh belt knives others is a little fancier got some working knives and everything over there is two ulus both have a bone handle on them and then the two big buoys and I've got one buoy let's see this one right here is an L6 uh, differentially treated uh, heat treated harpoon point buoy this one right here right there with a big D guard or almost a D it's not attached at the back it's free floating but anyway like that is a KSO that's the one I made for the buoy ch Sam Towns buoy challenge, and anyway, re regardless. But that's what that is. That's a KSO. That's made out of a farrier's rest, uh, and that KSO is a knife-shaped object. It also has a a handle on it. This is just no more than an art knife. I wouldn't. I mean, it beats not having nothing but just barely. But it's, it looks all right. Now, also, 
what I've been doing right there. Let's telephone that on in. Right there is more knives. I think I've got 25 knives done and hanging right there for the they have uh, a layer of satanite on them uh, to help with the anti scale then I put the uh, the Rutland's uh, fire block or I think no it's 3M fire block that I used to uh, anyway to to do the the claying on the hormones so So that's what I've got done. Some of it you've you've seen the the big the big uh, harpoon point buoy. You've seen it being built. This one was built a long time ago, and this one was a year or so, and this one's been a year or so. Most all of these little knives, the penny knives, the patch knives, or trade knives, whatever you want to call them. Uh, a lot of them's been made out of stuff that I've forged or just ground and just out of scraps. So, and I've been doing that since I had the, the COVID. Uh, and I got all that, to, yeah, this thing. Anyway, that's what I've been doing while I've had COVID. I come out here, piddle around a couple hours at a time, you know, just get out of the house and, and do. I didn't film a whole lot of that. I mean, well, matter of fact, I don't think I even turned the camera on for that. Um, ninety percent of this stuff because I was gagging, doing. I was sick. I, it wasn't. It wouldn't have been a pleasant video. And but. Anyway, I'm a little better now. I mean, I'm still just weak as a cat, so it'll take a while. Now, these knife steels are kind of all over the place. I've got L6, which is 8670 from Pops Knife Supply. Okay. I have some 1080. I had a couple of pieces of 1080, and um, I made the Ulus out of it and then use the bone for the handles on them and this they go from uh, white tail handles to mule deer to elk handles all that material right there and the steel like I said it is L6 I've got 01 1080 and 1095 I hadn't got any W2 uh, here on the table right now. I've got knives cut out of W2 that I'm going to be doing. So, if you think, if somebody out there thinks that you have to forge to make a knife, I, I'm going to sadly burst your little bubble because we're all stock removal guys. Every one of us. Don't matter if you forge it, no matter who you are. I mean, you could be somebody that just absolutely forges a real good, clean, planished knife. You still got to take it to the grinder and get all the scale and everything else off of it. Do the final shaping with sandpaper and, and a belt. So, you're a stock removal guy. Hate to burst your little bubble. So, I forge a few knives. I don't show that. I mean, I can do it. And there's a billion and twelve forging channels, you know, they'll show you how to do that. But if if you want to see some more of that, let me know. But it's, it'll be after I do these this batch right here that I've got. I think I've got like 90 knives. I've got to try to get finished before June. And I, not to mention the ones that, I, that I'll that i sell, I'll have to replace before I go back, go to Blade Show. So... Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, do a little answer question and show you the progress that I'm making. It's slow, but, you know, it takes me an hour and a half to watch 60 minutes now, so 
uh, I'm gonna leave it at that make a short and sweet video and I'm gonna wish you have yourself a great day and everything else until next time God bless